This is a perception. It's a, it's a horror game about a blind girl, and she uses echolocation. Uh, I've been comparing it to Daredevil or Bat, and then calling the two Bat Devil. Uh, I was given the game. I was given a key for the game on the Xbox One, the Xbone, by devs slash PR, the PR company that I have an account on on the website where I can go and ask for games and usually don't get them but I got this one I seem to usually get horror games over anything else at least the ones I asked for I got a oh, what's it called the other one where you're first person and you're walking through a house cause that's what this is it was um layers of fear that's it yeah it's kinda like layers of fear but uh yeah, instead of art you're a blind person that was me fiddling with the options. I think this is me syncing it. Uh, the audio messed up, and actually recording this post, it messed up again. But I know why. It's the uh, virtual sound board I'm using. I don't know. Something. I, I don't know. I gotta like not leave it on or something. Uh, here you can select whether you want Cassie to talk a lot or be the silent protagonist and only speak for plot. I think I chose the one where she talks. Looking at it now. Huh. I don't know. I also don't know why she's covered in moths. I know there's like these hard to see ghost things. And they're hard to see because she's blind. And it's like echolocation. But like these ghost things that like burst into moths whenever they finish talking. Or you like echolocate them out of existence. Inspired by true events. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about you trust. learn who to trust. Yeah, there was something weird there about like the dialogue was overlapping for some reason. I don't know. You learn what? I guess this is Cassie as a kid being made fun of by other kids for being blind. She's learning how to use her echolocation daredevil powers. Good. Now. What's in front of the van? I don't know. Cassie. I'm at this point in that you'd think she'd see what's in front of the fan if the fan's on and blowing, but honestly, I don't know what the fan's doing. It's hard to see from this angle with these colors. But it's a coffee mug. Right. Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly. You learned to trust yeah, I wanted yourself. to try to see the rest of the room, Even but I guess it was too late, and like the exposition continued on. From your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. So yeah, she just said she's having nightmares about some house. So she decided to find the house. The fact that the house is real should like, you know, I don't know, something should click. But uh, that was the airport and now we're at the front gate of the house, at the mansion. And as you can see, we can Hello? see the, the movement of the wind outside, whereas we couldn't see it to do this. with the fan. I'm at the door. Yeah, so Surge, even though I thought it was Sergey, but it, apparently it is Surge, whatever name that is. Uh, it's kind of our assistant or friend or something. Or partner, I don't know. But uh, for the 40 minutes I played with this, it's he, like he wasn't seen, so maybe we never get to see him. Tapping the window to see if I can echolocate through the window. Not through the walls, but apparently the windows are frosted over or something. Yeah, explore for next goal. I didn't realize what that was, and that was me pushing a button. Although we'll find out what that button I was pushing actually does. But until it until like it serves a purpose, there's no real it just says fine 
It just tells you to explore, basically. So I thought I had went in circles by the fact that I found a door, but apparently it's a different door. One that won't open. So. And I actually didn't fully circle, because it's all blocked off. I kind of thought I'd stop tapping, but I kind of kept going. Reason for that is, this has a whole thing of, like, as a horror game, something's chasing you. And like, I know since there, tapping but, makes noise, um, and it follows you to noise, you want to like tap to see, but then also not tap to make noise. Hello? But, you know, obviously nothing's going to come after you at the very beginning. So, you know, tap away until that mechanic becomes a thing. Yeah, and the door closing illuminated everything, and then like the text on the wall, on the screen you saying that was chapter out? one. That was really good. I liked that. Nobody's supposed to be here. Yes, the mansion's abandoned. Oh yeah, when you tap on diff you can tap on different items based on like how close you are to them. And it, they do make different noises. I don't know if they make different like ranges, like tapping on the floor is louder than tapping on like these cloth things covering the furniture and boxes. But I don't I suppose it doesn't actually matter. Maybe for an old looking abandoned mansion, there's like pizza and shit everywhere. Like some kids broke in and were just hanging out. Apparently she hates fire. Oh yeah, I guess she can also see like bright lights. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, just new cracking my fingers. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? So a memory? So Felicia. Oh. Something else in the house, apparently. So I I was kind of freaking out because I couldn't tell if it was gonna come after us or not, but I don't think it did. I also tried to see if I could burn myself with the fire. Also, not possible. Um, yeah, so Felicia is one of the people that lived in the house. I say one of the people, I think it was only the two people and their unborn child. But, uh, yeah, I don't actually know what the story is, but I assumed that... Well, no, I guess I'll wait till we get to that part. But, uh... But it is a wife's tale, because your wife is asking for cookies, or something. There's something like that there, I, I couldn't quite put it together. I, I don't think it was necessarily a joke, but... Just me being a smartass. Uh, so, the husband's a doctor, Dr... I think it said Dr. Blair? I was gonna call him Richard, because that's his name. So Richard and Felicia. Also, these stairs are like super metal for some reason. Um, they moved in this house and they're pregnant. That's pretty much it. For now, I mean, we're gonna learn more in this video, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna make words with my mouth. Use six cents for next goal. Okay, so if there's no goal in sight, pushing that button just says explore to find new goal. But right now, our goal is to find whatever. Was that the baby crib? Yeah. Hello? I 
have no idea about the crib kept moving. It moved out of the way of the door, and that's all I needed to do. Now, at first, at first glance, it seemed like she was pushed. At least to me, it did. But she probably just tripped, tripped into the baby room. I need a fidget spinner. Now, Cassie, Not a fidget spinner. Fuck the fidget cube. Because like now, I'm just sports. playing with the pen. Because I have nothing to do with my hands. So I'm doing post. Oh, this is a flashback to when she was a kid. Yeah, it says it right there in the past. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> and like the lady at the orphanage, she ain't taking your shit. I, I assume that's her tapping her foot. Okay. Uh, Cassie doesn't want to okay. give up the um, Fine. the little I'll music box because it makes her comf comfortable. But, like, the orphanage lady was like, Alright, I'm sick of your shit. I'm so glad you're getting out of here. Stop stealing our stuff, girl. I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. Or oh, brought that back. That seemed like a very tame memory to comment on not wanting to remember. Considering we're probably gonna remember, like, a lot of worse things. So. I don't know. So yeah, yeah, okay, watching that back, yeah, I didn't remember it at the time, but later in the video, uh, the monster is gonna come and, like, repeat something we said. Nothing significant, I don't think, but, like, still repeats it in, like, a creepy thing, and I guess I didn't remember it just happened here, so... Also, the thing said no need to hide, which I guess is, that's like the game's fault, because I felt an intense need to hide when the door opened and something talking sounded like it was getting closer and closer, but I didn't see anything. Not even like the silhouette of a ghost. Also, cans in the form of an arrow is really weird. Yeah, that window scared me when I played this. Not now, obviously. I'm not actually sure if they're ghosts. Cassie assumes they are, but I don't know. Maybe her blind echolocation, that devil vision. My purse in the car gives her the ability to see ghosts, and she knows sure. that. Sure, I'll grab him. Jesus, I mean, a ghost is a ghost, just like a zombie is a zombie, but like in in story, it could be something else. No, clickers aren't zombies because they're made with fungus, and actually, clickers are the most zombie, not zombies. I should have said the Lost Plaga from RE4. They're like, not zombies. But still zombies. I don't really do anything like that with ghosts or any other monsters. I think they try to do it with vampires, but... Like, the only other thing that's like a vampire but different from a vampire is a ghoul. But that's because like, a vampire drinks blood. And then turns other people into vampires while a ghoul is basically just a magical cannibal. But more or less the same thing. Or maybe a ghoul is closer to a zombie. Since you don't turn into a ghoul, you get by the ghoul. I don't remember if that scared me or not. But. Yeah, there's lots of owls and 
uh, is it owls? I think it's an, I think it's owls. Just owls. It might be crows as well. Oh yeah, she can't see, so she can't read, so she has to use her phone to like twenty milligrams fluxodine. Tag. Read text on items. Instructions: Take twice daily with water. Doctor Richard Breyer. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? That's really an odd question to ask. I feel like there's like a better question, like what kind of a doctor prescribes to his own wife, like a doctor who's doing his job because his wife's sick. But the thing is, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor or a lawyer, but I feel I've heard something about doctors not being able, allowed to prescribe to relatives. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. So this might end up being a short game because I feel like. Different. So yeah, we're gated off from the way we came, but it doesn't actually matter because we can just go around. But um, I feel this game might end up being really short. Cause like Outlast is like eight hours long. I feel this might be like four or five. Because she already feels like her dreams are important. And I feel like it's way too early for that. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. Did I ever explain these tapes? Crap. I've got a stack of JAMA journals up to my chin, and every issue is stuffed with pompous pseudo-intellectual prattle about the dangers of the medical model and the anti-pharmaceutical movement. Do no harm, my ass. One of my colleagues going to get back to what matters, the patient. A commentary on the state of Benny's. This dribble serves no one. So... So yeah, the um, tape players serve as a type of note, which is weird because there are actual notes in the game that you have to use uh, the Delphi thing on her phone to actually read. Yeah, I went past the shelves and the bottles broke and I couldn't tell if that was like ghost or if I was doing it. I think I was doing it. Or maybe the stuff was already on the floor and I was just stepping on it. But um... Yeah, Richard, I guess, is a bit more old-fashioned of a doctor. I don't know why it lets me hide here now. There's nothing to hide from. But, uh, whatever. I guess I now know what hiding looks like. Um, yeah, Richard was complaining about what sounded like hippy-dippy, new-age, you know, doctors or doctors in study. Complaining about the pharmaceutical practices or whatever, I don't know. Um, medicine's not that great, or modern medicine, or government-monitored medicine, or something. Some something ant, just anti. Like I don't know, but it does give a reason for like, well, more reason for Richard to be a bit agitated. But enough of that. This is now the stop tapping so much because something's coming after you uh mechanic i was just trying to see if i can light the fireplace on fire and also looked up to see if it was an actual fireplace which it wasn't there's no hole to the chimney um yeah it said the house listens so at first i thought it was going to be like the house is alive and at the end like there's going to be eyes and mouths all over the wall trying to eat me I think that was just like an exaggeration. That was weird because I didn't actually find a ticket or an apple as far as I remember. But maybe she was just going over her dreams. Wasn't really clear with that though. Of morphine for pain. Patient is wounded. 
woozy but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. So this and the next note, and one other note which is farther away from this, which is weird because these two are next to each other. It's just Richard talking about how the doses are affecting his patients. I don't think this patient and these two are his wife, but then again, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing when I was standing there. I do remember thinking that this file cabinet was in another room and that there was a door. But I mean, it's just right here. Now I gotta explore for a key code. Which really isn't that much of an explanation. Exploration if, like, I use my spider sense to, like, search for the next area to go to where the code is. Like, it's very linear in that way. I don't think there's, like, any side stuff to do. Except for maybe like secrets. I think I found one secret, but I'm not sure because I haven't found any others. Not that I really looked. This game, like I get it, it's really dark and like I can like it, but man, it makes it, it, makes it hard to like want to explore and look around, especially since the only way you can see Attracts the enemy. The only way you can see. This is a jump scare. Which actually got me. I, like, I thought I was done for. Because most of these non combat run away and hide from the monster. Is this still staying? No, it's not. So the good doctors. That's not alpha male or anything. So the good doctor is referred to his wife as the patient. I guess keeping home and work life separate. Although I think he's treating her at home, so it's not like it matters. I'm not sure what I was doing here. I think I might have been like waiting to see if something was gonna come after me. Oh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was messing with the uh, with that. Not really something I want to do. That's me trying to look through the telescope. I feel like it'd be hard to look up through a telescope to the sky with a closed window. But then, like, how do they open that window? Oh, here's me scanning a note instead of it being a tape player. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118. A faith, to be sure. 2118. The stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try 2118 for that key code. Yeah, so back when I played this live, I was confused as like, why was there a crib here? Was that here when I came up? Looking now, it was there, but it wasn't glowing green, so it's weird it was suddenly glowing green. But, um, yeah, I also talked for a good minute or two about with us, Danny. Sleep with us. Yeah, that's the monster. I don't really know how to, like, get rid of him once he's there. Some weird owl thing in a hood. And this is the part, this is one of the parts that gets me the most. Like, what is 
this game and what is the story like why why did the dying sound sound so visceral and gory because I assumed it was either ghosts or it's all in her head leaning more towards it's all in her head but that sounded like it was a physical creature in the building attacking people and even if it he was like, I don't know. I guess if it was ghosts. Star, the good doctor was referring to, might be it. What was it again? I guess if it, I don't know. We got a key. The star opened, and we got a key. And a trophy, which I forgot if it was called trophies or achievements on um Xbox. I think I did just call it a trophy. It doesn't help that they changed the icon to an actual trophy on the Xbox. So, I know. my ugh. fingers fumble keys, and sometimes which is weird because it's called achievements literally everywhere floor, else you can't on Steam, on Uplay. No one come up with anything, pills. uh, anything different except for PlayStation. But then, like, I guess no one cares about PlayStation, so yeah, what. I kinda just rambled on, didn't I? Delphi, text to speech. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow, Somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife? Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras. chakras? Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. Sandy. I don't remember her saying that before. Sandy, the name of the child. As now is as good as time as any to bring that up. Oh yeah, I thought I saw like a person on the other side of that door. And also, I didn't notice this door right here. Which is I, because there's a big open door push A button in the middle. But Hmm. Yeah, so not knowing anything, and I'll probably go look at the plot later. Depending on so if someone else on YouTube plays it. But, um, my theory is that Cassie is the child of Richard and Felicia. And then something happened, they died, or it sounded like either Richard or Felicia. It seems like both of them could easily have, like, gone crazy and have been, like, institutionalized. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Regardless, it would put Cassie in an orphanage. And, I don't know, maybe she changed her name, or the orphanage changed her name, because they didn't know. I have an arcade in this big old mansion, which is pretty neat. I don't know what any of these games are, though. Well, I mean, they're all like... I mean, neither does Cassie, because she's blind, but like, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, being a blind person who can only see, like, silhouettes and reflection off lightings, it's a really good way to, like, not have to do a lot of work in terms of textures. Ooh. I don't know what that was, or if that'll even pop up, but I think that was my X- or not Xbox, my Elgato messing up. Also, I made a comment about how that music on that arcade was, uh, Kid Dracula? Yeah, pretty sure it was Kid Dracula.
Frank was never the chattiest patient I'd ever had, but the remote sessions are not quite working for us. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load. So yeah, I don't know why attempting to open a locked door triggered the next object ex ugh, objective, did it? Ugh, but it did. God, I'm dying and choking. I've been choking a lot. Yeah. So we saw a ghost trying to open this thing, but it's locked. And for some reason, three... Numbers were already there. I don't know if, they were, if that was random or if that's like part of the code and we only need one number. But, uh, none of it worked, so I guess it was just random. Pretty weird. I, I, I think I forgot all about it, actually. Never came back to it. Though I never found anything for it, so... Ah, uh, yeah, dear staple of horror games or any game that has some sort of symbolism where's my damn water bottle oh it's on the fuck it's way over there fuck it fine, fine. Hmm. it's from my favorite book growing up the princess and the frog <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands <laughs> looking for my future husband but it wasn't about boys I fell in love with nature, the sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? Because animals are evil freaks of nature that are out to kill humans. That's just me trying to turn on what I thought was a TV. Uh, there's another note here. Oh, it's, no, I it's a memory. I my own set of tarot cards when we moved in. Now, I just can't seem to do it. The cards and their symbols seem to take a life of their own. I don't want to use them. Isn't that the point of tarot? Or wouldn't that be like a good thing? So that's me learning I can hide under beds. Although I haven't had a need to actually hide from anything. And then this is me trying to get into the tub to see if I can get another jump scare out. Opening doors causes a bit of noise. Oh, look, there's the uh, collectible. It's an examine, but I didn't actually examine it, I just took it. So I'm not sh I'm, mm, I'm not really sure about that, but we'll just assume it's a collectible and that I got one of 500 or something. Now we're back upstairs over the um. I'm not sure actually. Yeah, calling a mixture of medicines a cocktail doesn't really seem right. Yeah, I was trying to not use my echolocation. 
as much as possible. I didn't want to like trigger something. Oh, yeah, okay, there's that dream catcher that came out of nowhere. It almost seemed like it was a glitch or a bug, but I don't know. Maybe because I didn't look directly at it. For some reason, that door opened slower than all the others, and I'm not sure why. First the sage brushes, now this. How does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? It's a bad omen, woman. Something bad's gonna happen to you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's telling me to pick up a key I couldn't see because it was behind me. I know how to raise my baby. Which is weird. Give me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. That's the thing. Richard can tell you haven't been taking them in days. <laughs> So, plot-wise, it's a lot, it's very similar to Layers of Fear, in that it's about a husband and wife with a child on the way, or in some notes, already here. Um, they're in a big house, but they are having some weird dispute. I know, I didn't know what that popping was, I thought it was like fireworks, which I thought was weird. Later on, I figure out it's like bubble wrap but um yeah just irreconcilable differences between the married couple and a child something with a child I don't know the only thing is, in Layers of Fear, I think you play. These, because at some point, we're gonna need to talk about this. Layers of Layers of Fear, you talk. No, I mean you play Richard. as the artist, the husband, and then you play as the daughter in the DLC. But here, well, we don't know if Cassie's the daughter, but you play as someone. Who obviously has some connection to the house, Felicia know, and Rich Richard. Otherwise, no. she wouldn't have these dreams and wouldn't be here. Also, I this part got me a little. I couldn't figure out for the longest what to do. I, I figured I've this part out. None of his prescriptions. I. Still see it. I still see it. I still see it. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. What is it about the tree? That's the only factor in this that I can't figure out. But, uh, yeah, I can figure out what to do. Like, I touched a canvas, and I got story, and then more canvases magically appeared, so I figured if I find one and touch it. The thing is, this, what, what, the stuff that's green seems like it's inconsistent. Because then, there are things that are green, because you have to, like, get story out of them, and then there are things that are green, because you hide them. Hide in them, or around them. Uh, and things that are green, for no real reason. I mean, unless you can hide in or under the baby kit or carriage, but I mean, I didn't see a prompt when I ever went near one. Um, the way back's blocked, so couldn't do that.
I thought maybe if I hid, something would come out, but it didn't trigger anything. I've been having this problem lately where, like, I, could, I can't figure out what to do, even though it seems like it's super obvious. It happened in Death by Degrees, it's happened in Spider-Man a little. I think it happened once in Resident Evil, Cole Veronica. I think that's where it started. Co Veronica, it's like that, that's that, that it's it it broke me. I only played for like one session, but uh, this one isn't as bad because I I like it's a small room. I I assumed I was locked in a small room, so well, small relative to the rest of the house, so it wasn't that hard to like scour the corner and lick the walls to find something before I eventually just. I don't know. I don't know what I did. I kind of just walked around until I noticed this. Betty. Why am I still seeing it? So I thought the floor here and in some places had a weird texture. But I I think it's just stone. Well, it was done in there. Now it's a uh, bubble wrap. Hello. Where are you? <sighs> hey, Serge. What's Where up? Where are you? Okay. I'm in a weird. I don't know. I guess it was a nursery. There's bubble wrap everywhere. Wait a sec. Shouldn't you be at thirty thousand feet right now? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I don't know what that means, 30,000 feet. Because Serge was supposed to come here with you. Hello? Oh, I guess he was on a plane. He wasn't in the state yet. Or at the city. That makes sense. And I guess he shouldn't be able to... Whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. Find a place to hide. So the door is locked in the way back. Oh. The Xbox. Not the Xbox. The Elgato messed up again. Which. You know. Not intentional. But like. Kind of helps. I mean. I didn't see it. When I was playing on the TV. But like. The mess up. Is imprinted on the video. So now. It's here. But, um. Yeah, I got stuff here too because I couldn't figure out how to hide. Like, according to what she said, I had to hide somewhere where those bubble wrap cocoons are. Whatever, whatever the fuck they are. They, they are super weird. And the door is locked, so I couldn't get back. And, like, I figured once I get close, it would, like, prompt me to hide, but. I guess I had to actually look deeper in, which we'll eventually get to. I gotta try to get in, then eventually, yep. Really weird. I don't think these cocoons are made of bubble wraps. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but this is where I decided to leave it because I had been recording for like 45 minutes plus, so yeah, I mean, I come up with things to say, uh, things that now in this post I think I've already said, like the layers of fear thing, my idea on the plot. Uh, and then I get out to, like, look around a little bit, stall for time. But, uh, yeah. 
That's perception. Um. Yeah, that's all I got. 